Hi there. In this video, I'm going to download and install Audacity, which is um, a free audio editing application. So I'm going to type in Audacity, free download in Google Chrome. It brings me to audacityteam.org. And I'm going to grab it for Windows. It says Windows 10. I'm using Windows 7, and it should work. So I'm going to click on Audacity 2.42 installer. And I'll download that. And I'll choose Keep. And I'll choose open and run English next next I'll just put it in the suggested spot desktop shortcut is fine and install so it just takes a moment to install and I'll choose next and I'll leave that checked for launch audacity so I can double check that it works. So this little uh, welcome to audacity screen popped up. That's fine. I'll choose OK. And then here is the actual application. So as I mentioned, I'm just going to use this to record um, speech for use in a PowerPoint presentation. So first of all, I have to choose what uh, my input device is. So I have a um, large diaphragm condenser USB mic uh, that I purchased for um, YouTube videos and whatnot. Also works for other stuff and there it is there. volume and delete my track select all and I just press delete on my keyboard there we go and I'll give that another shot as it was too quiet so I'll just choose record and now I'm recording, that looks a little better. I'm getting an actual waveform there. And I'm gonna say rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And let's hear that. And now I'm recording, that looks a little better. I'm getting an actual waveform there. And I'm gonna say rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So that worked quite nicely. Um, I don't need to add any effects um, and whatnot. Usually I just use the voice as it's recorded. So I'm just going to choose File and Export and um, PowerPoint I believe use uh, will use MP3 as well as Waves. I'm just going to uh, try mp3 first. So I'm just going to throw that on my desktop so it's easy to find. I'll create a folder called audio or PowerPoint presentations. And I would have a folder for each presentation as well. And I'm going to call this um, slide one. That's my naming convention if I'm adding 
audio for a particular slide. I would say the number of the slide in my file name and maybe a little bit about the subject that I'm talking about so I don't have to uh, listen to all of the files in order to decide which one to input later on. Um, ask me the quality here. I'm going to crank that all the way up. Variable speed. That should be fine. And I'm going to export to mono. It takes up less space. And that's all I need. So I'll choose save. There's some metadata. I, I don't need to add any information about the track, so I'll just choose OK. So now if I look at my desktop, There's my folder there. There's the MP3. And now I'm recording. That looks a little better. I'm getting an actual waveform there. And I'm going to say rhubarb, 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 the quick brown. And it works just fine. So now I'm just going to insert this into my PowerPoint presentation. Um, one thing that you want, might want to do is uh, double check the actual length of this file. So I'm just going to right click. I'm going to choose length for my, sorry, I, I right clicked on the column name and I chose length. So I'm going to set my um, timing to be automatic and 10 seconds. So the purpose of my audio on this presentation is so that I can have an unattended presentation. I'll uh, prepare all of the things I'm going to say beforehand and then add those to each slide. So I'm going to set the timing to be automatic and to go to the next slide um, maybe I'll give myself an additional one second for wiggle room if there's a bunch of material on the slide that you want your uh, audience to take in as well as the the things you're talking about um, you may want to give them an extra few seconds as well to take that stuff in but generally what you say should uh, be sufficient so I'm going to click on and open up PowerPoint and I'm going to choose a uh, new presentation. I'll just use a blank presentation. And I'll go to Insert, Media, Audio, Audio on my PC, Desktop, Audio. There we go there. I'm going to add that. It actually when I play the thing, it'll tell me how long it is as well. So that was 10.24, so I'm going to make my automatic timing 11. So I'm just going to add, my, add another slide. So I'll choose Home, New Slide, so we can see the transition happen. That is the change from one slide to the next. And I'm going to choose Transitions. And I'll say on mouse click as well as 11 seconds. So this is seconds here. If I hit Tab, there we go. So now when I view the presentation, it change, should change to slide two. Let me just give you an indication. And this is slide two, so we can see. that it changes automatically. So I'll choose slide one. I'll choose slideshow view. Let me just make that smaller so you can see. Slideshow view. So there's my audio. And then it moves to slide two. So that was, uh, again, downloading 
and installing um, a free audio application for uh, recording and editing audio and then saving that as an mp3 and then inserting that audio into a PowerPoint slideshow presentation and adding again automatic timing under transitions. Thanks so much for watching.